I am from Learning Secondary School, and I'm going to talk about how violent video games can change kids' mentalities. Here, I have one example for all of you. My six-year-old cousin threw his PS4 controller to a TV while playing Fortnite because he lost. This is a clear example of what violent or shooting video games can cause in people that are not prepared to play them. In this case, children. Now, you are probably asking why this happens. I am going to explain it to you. Most of the violent or shooting games are online, so you are always competing with other people. This generates a more competitive environment, so you are always focusing on winning. The problem is that young people are always in disadvantage, as most of them don't know how to play well, and the consequence of that is that they lose. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is that, because they are young, they are not prepared to lose, and also they cannot manage from being frustrated, so they turn all that frustration into anger and start to act violently. That's the real reason of why shooting video games have that rating F, H. To prevent what I explained, we should make younger kids play other video games that instead of frustrating them, help them from their pers form their personalities or also help them hand-eye coordination and cognitive skills. Some examples of these are Undertale, that teaches that hurting others is bad, the importance of friendship as well as it has challenging gameplay that trains your reflexes. Another example is a classic, Legend of Zelda. It teaches that everyone is a hero in their own way and also has puzzles that require critical thinking to solve and also find adventures. The final idea of this talk was to clarify video games are good for people and have a lot of pros. I also want to say that video games with age restrictions, if you have the correspondent age, can help you in things that other video games don't have, as multiplayer, when you can make online friends to play with, or competitive games as Fortnite or Rocket League, have huge competitive communities. So if you are good enough, you can participate in tournaments to earn prizes. For example, Fortnite in 2019 made a world championship of the best players in the world, and the winner of that tournament won $3 million. So stop working and start playing video games. I'm kidding. Thanks for listening and remember, video games in good measures can help your brain in improving cognitive functions. So, parents who are watching this, are you prepared to give your kids appropriate video games?